Hi, this is a demo of how I'd love to develop on Ubuntu using automated testing as well as some outside in development also known as behavior driven development. Um, for this demo I've fabricated a simple example for, for a launchpad feature that allows um, users to add subscriptions to private PPAs uh, allowing software uh, of allowing their software users to download the software. So um, the agreed changes um, that I've spoken with a stakeholder about are that when they open the manage subscriptions page and they enter the person they're subscribing, they should also be able to enter a date in the date expires field. And when they submit that new subscription, they should also be able to um, see the date that uh, it expired. So I'm just updating our agreed story with those changes. As soon as I save that file, uh, automatically the test runner picks up that the story has been modified and it goes and runs that story to ensure that it still works as expected. Now we're expecting it to fail and um, for that reason while it's running we're going to open up the, um, the archive subscription where are we? Tests, browser test archive subscription, that's the one. Um, and modify it so that it knows, oh, here we go, the story test failed because it couldn't find a field name uh, labeled date expires. If that goes too quickly for us, we can come through and check the output. And here it is, you can see that it's gone through the story, but it's failed at that point there um, because it couldn't find the field. So now we'll come back uh, and we're going to update, moving from the outside in, we're going to update the unit test for this view uh, so that it automatically ensures that the form displayed on the for this view has three fields one of which is the date expires so um, expires when we save that file it automatically picks that up and starts running the unit tests um, again we're expecting those to fail though because we haven't updated the actual browser code yet so um, we'll do that, um, browser, the archive subscription, here we go, and here's the view, all we're going to need to do is, oops, all we're going to need to do is add in at that point the new field, uh, the unit test file, there should be three fields, it only found two as expected, so we pop in here, date expires, and um, we save that and once saved as expected the unit test starts running again this time we're expecting it to pass because it should have the third field and everything should be hunky-dory uh, forbidden attribute date ex okay so date expires um, it's not allowing us to put that on there because in the content class date expires isn't isn't a publicly accessible attribute so we need to first update the documentation for our archive subscription which tells us that the current currently the public accessible attributes are subscriber and dis description we'll add date expires I won't worry about the formatting for the moment oops um, and just copy um, so date expires and uh, in the test it's hard coded as 2009-08-24 Okay, so once I save that, um, it runs the doc test to ensure that the documentation is correct, which it won't be because we haven't yet updated the interface to uh, move the date expires. So we'll cut it from here and put it into the public interface where it should. There we go. So doc tests have failed because of forbidden attribute as expected. So we'll come up here to the public interface and pop the date expires on there. Um, again, once we save, it automatically knows. It should check its documentation to ensure it's correct. It goes off and does that. We're going to switch back to our browser view. So we're now, we've worked all the way from the outside in. We're now moving back out again. Um, so here we've got the, so we don't actually need to change anything here. We're just, wait, here we go. So the doc test is successful. It, um, net, we now know that our documentation is correct and we have that publicly exposed field. All I'm going to do here is save this view again, which will automatically trigger the unit tests for the view to run. And we're now expecting those unit tests to pass, which they do. 
So it's successfully completed, and it's now actually triggered the story to run as well. It realizes that the the story should. Um, where's our story? Um, our story, because the view has successfully passed its unit test, it needs to ensure that the story actually works as well. And hopefully it will. Um, story test failed. Uh, it didn't find in the display. One tick. I'll just check the. Okay, so if we have a look at the actual output, it's gone through, it's allowed the date to be entered. Oh, of course, so we haven't actually displayed the new expired date on the form once it's, once it's been saved. So for that, we just open up the um, template and we're going to simply add in a new column here. Um, date expires, as well as a data column, which I'll just copy from a um, one I've prepared previously to save time. So we come in here and before the description we'll enter oh that would have actually been good. Bang, there it is. Once I save this template, um, it knows it should go through automatically run the story again. So great, we'll come back to our story. Hopefully this time the story will work because we've come all the way from the outside through to the um, right down to the content class and worked our way back out. Story successful, excellent. So an archive owner can add a subscription for a private archive and it ran successfully. So that's outside in development, what I hope we can soon do on Ubuntu. Thanks very much.